Imogen is a fantastic human being. She's only tiny, um, she has cerebral palsy, and, but she absolutely loves horse riding. Horse riding is really good for her. It allows her muscles to relax, after, so after she's been horse riding, she's a, a different person. It's really, really good um, therapy for her. You, because you meet new friends, and you move from bunny to pony, and that's exciting. And because then you get to know them, and I guess them, it's a bit like a friend, but they're a horse. Imogen's wearing a prototype riding hat, which has been made by Cerebra. The problem is Imogen has a really strange shaped head um, and because of that regular riding hats don't seem to fit her either they're too small or they're too, um, and too tight or they're just too big and they wobble around and we haven't yet found a solution so um, Cerebra are, are going to be making her one that's actually going to fit her head which will be great. So the, the process for making Imogen's helmet is in a way it's quite complex but in a way it's beautifully simple. Uh, so we were able to work with Attic, uh, they have a, a digital scanner which we were able to take to, to scan Imogen's head. That gives us a, a perfect uh, version of her on the computer. We were able to then model a helmet around her. So this is the helmet liner, this is exactly the shape and size of Imogen's head. From that CAD data we were also able to then 3D print this, uh, this mould. That the outside shell is made from uh, four thin layers of fiberglass and it also has uh, two thicknesses of this Kevlar which is insanely tough stuff. Uh, the inner core takes care of uh, impact in case she falls on the, off of the horse and the outer shell gives it overall toughness and takes care of any penetration should a horse hoof or fence post or anything get in the way. Imogen's come for a riding lesson today and it's her last practice before she competes in the RDA regionals on Thursday. So you kind of make the horse dance in a way because you have to go to the letter to the letter so it's like 10 metre circles and trotting down the legs. The last piece of the jigsaw is uh, the safety testing. Uh, that's, this was carried out by the British Standards Institution and we were pretty lucky, we passed first time, so it was all our hard work paid off uh, and it allows Imogen to ride in perfect safety.